Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be doing another story time video, but it's not as dark as my last one, and it's not as funny as my first one. Today's video is going to be about my journey with mental health. It's not something I've really spoken about on my YouTube channel. I've talked about, you know, dealing with things and everything, but I haven't really spoken on a level of diving deep into what I um, have been diagnosed with, how I handle it, how long I've had it, basically the entire process leading up to my diagnosis. So that's basically what today's story time is going to be about. Obviously, a lot of people know what mental health is. It is a very big topic nowadays um, as people are coming out about it, talking about it, and being more open about it, you know, and realizing that it's an actual thing, unlike how it used to be in the past. But mental health is in regards to a person's psychological and emotional well-being. And there's actually 970 million people across the world who have been diagnosed with some sort of mental disorder. 284 million people who are diagnosed with anxiety. And there's 46 million people who have been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. In reality, mental health really affects affects one in four people in the world. It shouldn't be looked down upon and it shouldn't be taken as a joke. All in all, mental health shouldn't define who we are as a person. We should look at it from different perspective, understand it, just reason with yourself and just understand that what I'm going through isn't anything abnormal. It is something that a lot of people deal with and it just shouldn't always be what's on your mind. You shouldn't let it control you. You should just always have like some sort of positive outlook on it in the end. So with that being said, back in 2017, at the end of the year, this was whenever I was a senior in high school, I was taking a lot of time into understanding the world around me, and I was noticing how I was slightly a little bit different than other people, and the way they acted, the way they held friendships, the way that they basically in general were as a person, and their characteristics, you know. It all came into play whenever I started taking those standardized tests high schools make you take to be able to get into college. Whenever I would take the ACT, I had a really hard time with being able to keep focus and being able to keep up with basically everyone else around me like I would see people who would finish the test 30 minutes like before I would even be halfway through and I was like something's a little odd here and I sometimes I wouldn't even finish you know a section whenever the time was called and that definitely came into play whenever I took the SAT. Noticing how I was having a really hard time just focusing and being able to remember things whenever I needed to and getting all of it done in a certain amount of time. So I noticed that there was something off, you know. How am I having such a hard time when everyone else is able to do it, you know? I decided to finally speak and reach out to a therapist um, whenever I was living in St. Augustine. And my therapist and I um, really talked deep into my entire life as to like what I do, where I've lived, what my life is in, um, in my family life, uh, what my life is like at school, work, um, and what I like doing in my spare time and everything. So after we talked, um, my uh, therapist uh, diagnosed me with ADHD. He diagnosed me with depression, anxiety, and bipolar disorder. Um, at first, it was a lot for me to take in and just understand that I had all of these symptoms. But after I like looked into it um, and basically had like a whole realization with myself, I became very aware that these were problems that I was dealing with um, for such a long time um, without understanding what they were. And I just pushed it aside and was just like, oh, it's whatever. But it got to a point where it just started like getting the best of me and I wasn't able to control it because I didn't really know what was even going on. So after reaching out and actually speaking with a uh, therapist, uh, it really helped me um, to understand what I'm going through. And the only problem that I had with that is what made me this way. And my therapist, after speaking with him, obviously helped me narrow it down as to 
what might have been causing all of this all along to just gradually build up over time to get to the point where I felt like it was actually time to speak with somebody to where I was diagnosed with all of my mental health disorders. If you're new to my channel, I am constantly moving around. Um, I was born in um, North Carolina and then I moved to South Georgia and then I moved up to Norfolk, Virginia and moved back to the same area in South Georgia and then I moved to North uh, Florida and after that I moved to South Florida and then now I moved up here to Northern Virginia. And everywhere I lived, I lived for about four years and I would go through each grade of school in that area. Like I would be in elementary school in one area, middle school in one area, and then high school in the other. And it came into play with me building friendships with people because whenever I would live in an area, I would become very close friends with a lot of people. And whenever it came time to move away, I would get detached and taken away from those people and I'd have to build new friendships again. And it got to a point where it was just like again and again and again. And whenever I'd move away, I'd have a hard time keeping up with those people and it would take a toll on me. And it was just also hard for me to actually want to make friends because I felt like I would just move away again and it would be hard to keep contact with those people. And that would really stress me out and um, just make me have detachment issues from those people and everything and being afraid to actually make friends because in the end I knew that I was going to be moving away eventually. People usually will stay in one area and they'll live there and they'll go through their entire like school process and continue to have those same friends from kindergarten all the way up to graduation into college and that wasn't the story for me. My uh, therapist and I also talked about how with being in school and stuff like that and having to keep up with all my schoolwork, handling ADHD, having a hard time wanting to do the things that I knew that I needed to do to excel in school, and I would want to focus on the things that I liked the most, for example, film. And I would excel in those types of classes, but I would have a very hard time keeping up with the classes that I actually needed to be focusing in, like English, math, so on and so forth. Bipolar disorder is, to this day, just a very confusing one because I don't know why it gets so irritable sometimes. Um, I just think I have a hard time handling situations sometimes, and it's uh, known to be a genetic thing. And I know my family does deal with bipolar disorder. In the end, with the way that I handle it, is a bit more complex for me to understand. So that one's always been a very kind of confusing one for me. So basically, whenever it comes down to whatever you are handling and living and dealing with all different types of mental health problems. It can be challenging for yourself at some times, but whenever you break it down, in a way you're able to cope with it, you're able to manage it so that it can't get the best of you at times. For me personally, I here and there will do uh, sessions with meditation. Meditation is a great way to be able to calm the mind and able to bring your attention to something different than what is bringing you down. And I have found that to be a great way to change the subject of what you're thinking about to something positive and beneficial for you. And definitely speaking with therapists and psychiatrists have been a great way to understand what I'm going through. And another great way with managing it and uh, coping is understanding that you're not alone and that you're not the only person that is handling these types of situations. It's different for everybody, but for you in particular, just knowing that there's other people that are going through something that you're going through is a great way with understanding that you're not the only one who's feeling this way and that it shouldn't scare you. In conclusion, whenever it comes down to mental health, you shouldn't just brush it aside and just ignore it because if you ignore it, from my experience, it can just become worse over time if you don't know how to manage it or seek help about it or just in general classify what you are experiencing and find a way to be able to cope with it and manage it and not let it get the best of you. It can really help you become a better you. To become a better you, don't put on a fake front with people saying that you know you're doing fine but in reality you're really not and it can show to other people that you know that you're actually going through something knowing that you have friends and family that you're able to actually speak about with those things can actually open up their eyes to know that you're going through something and that they can actually help you out in a way so that you understand that you're not going through these things alone these things just don't go away overnight and it takes actual time and dedication and a lot of energy to be able to overcome certain mental health problems and they may either go away or they could be with you for your entire life. It's just all about how you handle them, 
how you perceive them and how you're actually able to work with it and not just to ignore it. Realizing all of this, it definitely helped me become a better me so I understand how I function as a person and how I interact with other people so that it doesn't always get the best of me. I have my moments here and there, but in the end, always find a way to be able to overcome it. Basically, reach a new level of understanding of myself, just knowing that it's always going to get better and that there's always the next day, the following day, and each day is always a new day to be able to take on a new challenge and understand yourself more so that I can help you succeed later down the road in life so that you understand who you are and what you can give to the world around you. And that's pretty much it with everything that I go through, but it's a difficult thing to talk about and it's very complex that I to this day don't fully understand, but it all is about just taking time and understanding and just working with yourself and others to be able to understand everything about mental health and the mental health problems that you potentially are dealing with. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna end it on that note. Until next time, I'll see you later. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, maybe even a comment, and if you want to, you can click that thumbnail on the left, and it'll take you to my most recent video. See you next time.